all of these overlords on a tier list depending uh, how good their grinding capabilities are so playing the tiers amazing for grinding means that it's highly recommended to use it for grinding okay for grinding I mean it's alright you can use it sometimes but for not for like not for like all the time math for grinding it's not that good and terrible for grinding uh, meaning that you should not use this overlord for grinding at all and haven't released which means that uh, uh, overlords that haven't released which I can't really rank them for these four tiers so <coughs> Uh, first off is uh, Overlord 1. Now Overlord 1 is amazing for grinding. You can actually use this for high for the high level merc base on extreme mode. Uh, as long as you have cover. You can all because of its super stomp it does a lot of damage. You can you can use this for uh, other stuff like sniper crate grinding. Next is Overlord 2. Overlord 2 is pretty much the GOAT for grinding. You can use this for sniper grinding, for basic crates. Uh, you can basically get like hund hundreds and hundreds of levels an hour from the hill on extreme uh, to, um, extreme two mode. Next is Overlord Hidden. Overlord Hidden, it's okay. It's meh for grinding. Well, you could use it against level six towers and use like the quick invisibility, but over time you would probably just die in a matter of uh, a minute or so. Next is Overlord Free. It is terrible for grinding. Now, I know, m people might get mad at me, but look. Overlord Free's only ability is the light, uh, the light speed dash ability. And you can't really use it in a way where you can AFK grind or ac active grind with the... So, it would be terrible for grinding. Next is Overlord 4. Uh, it's okay for grinding. I mean, you could just go on a cliff and use the ability and snipe the level 6 towers, get some super crates here and there. But I wouldn't recommend using it on, like, uh, mercenary bases. Actually, I might have to move it from meh. It, 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 you can't really use it for, like, stuff that would help uh, help you progress through the game. Next is Overlord Lava. This is Overlord Lava. It's amazing for grinding, especially for... Well, only for active grinding, so I would have to put it for okay. Now, the reason why I had to put it in okay is that you can't really find a way to use it for uh, AFK grinding like these two, or just macro if you will. But but it's great for a active grinding, for its flamethrower ability. It has uh, AoEs here and there, and for every fourth punch, it does a massive, massive uh, splash radius and uh, heals itself. Next is Overlord Explosive Boss. It's okay for grinding, but I would consider it a great active grinder. Uh, so uh, it has really unique abilities and a passive that works similar to uh, one of its abilities. Next is Overlord Boss 5. It's great for grinding. It's, it's a pretty uh, heavy um, active grinder. You can use it against level 6 towers and it would pack a punch it would it will literally just decimate them all and uh it's pretty tanky and also has a passive healing and an ability that actually helps a lot and also it could stack up damage up to 200 so you basically can do like uh 60 million damage with a with a fully loaded damage multiplier next is over toxic boss it's great for grinding uh, with a supernova ability on extreme to the power of 2 mode and using it against level 6 towers you can basically get almost uh, 500 to 700 levels with just one supernova but be wary though you have to respawn in order to like uh, make the cooldown faster or supernova cooldown faster sorry and Overlord 6, it hasn't released, so I can't really say my opinion. Might have to move uh, Overlord Lava up. It's pretty good for active grinding, like Overlord Boss 5. And so that's uh, my opinions on gr the uh, Overlords and how I would rank them for grinding. Bye-bye.